Hello, everybody. This is Tiny Gamer King, your coach of the Nova Scotia Scythe. Um, we are here to talk about the new um, team we just drafted for the MDL. Um, this is the off-season event. So hopefully if we can show we can do well in this, we might be able to uh, make it into the regular uh, league. But uh, we'll have to uh, see how this goes first. Um, so this is... Um, let's just talk a little bit about the the league is this off-season event and as it is it is a Dynamax league um, and transfer moves are permitted as well as um, there's uh, some of the mythicals are, is allowed in it as well um, so it was I thought it was a nice thing to try um, I haven't really done any um, leagues with transfer moves so uh, I don't know too many of the transfer moves so I had to look up a little bit of that um, while I was drafting but the draft was uh, took a decent took some time so it gave me some time to actually look up some of these transfer moves so we, I decided the first mon Pokemon I get when I just go into a draft league is I never know what team I'm going to draft. I have maybe ideas, but I never decide until at least I get my first Pokemon because um, I hate building a team and then just so many uh, people just start sniping you. So if you do, if you go into it without uh, Pokemon, you're actually with, like you're thinking of, then you can't really get sniped. So we picked eighth, I believe. Yes, so we picked eighth. Um, this is um, uh, two divisions, but they both we. Were, but both divisions had to pick from the same um, same set of Pokemon. Uh, there was a couple of different things as well, like Gigamax forms uh, um, were separate, so um, you could, uh, if you wanted, you could either pick like uh, the non Gigamax or the Gigantamax. Um, so uh, that was a little different and then if uh, someone drafted uh, one or the other you couldn't draft the other one if you were in the same division so uh, that was uh, something you had to think about throughout it as well um, this is uh, a nine weeks I believe um, which with two crossover division battles so there'll be two times we face uh, the other division uh, and because there's only seven in each division we'll have a buy each someone will be have a buy every week so um, I don't remember what I don't know what my buy is, so we'll have to. Uh, I think it's, I think it's like near the end of it. I could be wrong, um, but anyways. Uh, so we decide. Like I decided. Um, like I said, I didn't not to know what I was gonna pick until it came to me. So the first Pokemon, the only thing I went knew I wanted was to use. Pokemon I've never used before. Uh, there's a couple uh, exceptions that I uh, in that aspect, but uh, in most cases uh, I've never used any one of these mods 
before. So the first Pokemon I picked up was Metagross. So I picked up Metagross because like I said I've never used it before. I thought it would be fun to use whenever I wanted to use it. It always gets drafted pretty, uh, pretty early in the draft. Um, just because it is Metagross, especially in a uh, Gigantamax, like in a maxing format. It's such a great mod. Uh, but because uh, Mythicals were allowed, uh, some Mythicals got picked up, and I think that's why we were able to get uh, Metagross so far down in the list. Um, so, and with its abilities like uh, Queer body, we don't have to worry about um, things like intimidate or st any kind of like stat lowering uh, moves. So I just thought that was such a good um, thing to have for the team. So as my first pick, I thought that was such a great um, choice for us. Next thing, next Pokemon I picked up. Uh, I wanted a Mon that I could use. I felt pretty uh, effectively. Um, in uh, both Trick Room and non Trick Room, as I'm not the strongest Trick Room user. And it's something I've been tr I want to try to get better at. So I picked up this one, like I said, because it's another mod I haven't used before, and that's Mudsdale. So Mudsdale um, has a base speed of thirty-five, um, which is great for Trick Room. Um, not too good for. Uh, outside of Trick Room, but it has the defenses that it can still like get set up or if the team the opponent's not prepared for it, um, it can get pretty defensively bulky really quickly and it can just steamroll um, people like it literally could if in certain right circumstances could 1v4 uh, opponents in my opinion um, chances that if it do 1v4 is pretty slim but if the pro if they're not ready for it um, I think it really could um, with its ability stamina every time it gets hit uh, its defense goes up one stage so uh, Unless you're hitting it really strong right, right, from, right from the beginning, uh, you're going to uh, you're gonna regret it because a little chip here and that head, he doesn't care for it. He's like, yeah, chip me all you want because uh, you're gonna chip me and I'm gonna get my defense stronger and it's gonna be doing no not as much damage the next turn. So, I thought Mudsdale was a nice option for me and to try and get myself better at Trick Room since um, it has such a good speed for Trick Room, but outside Trick Room, it can still take hits and give them uh, back uh, even stronger. So, that was my second pick. The next pick I wanted is... I wanted to pick up a mon that could help us um, even take more hits. And I wanted a prankster mon. Um, and I thought that this mon could help us out uh, a lot in that aspect. And that mon is Grimmsnarl. So Grimmsnarl gives us the prankster ability, which is nice. It means uh, we pretty much, uh, any one of our support moves, pretty much guaranteed to go first. Um, which
which I thought was uh, would be great. Um, Grimstone is one of the mods, like I said, that is a little exception to my uh, wanting to try an all new Pokemon. So I'm not 100% sure if I've used Grimstone or not, to tell you the truth. I can't remember. Um, a part of me thinks I did, so that's why I said it, it, um, it's one of the mods. But it gives us, like I said, the pranksters. We want to uh, uh, get up some uh, support moves we can. It also has ability for risk, which is nice. Because um, if we want to, we can always bring that out, bring with risk, and it can come out and it can tell us our opponent's uh, items. Um, which to me is uh, a, a great thing to know, like items can do a lot. So if you know the items your opponent has, uh, that's great information. Um, so there's that. And with build item moves like uh, Light Screen, uh, Reflect, Fake Tears, Thunder Wave, it's such a great support mon, but it also has 120 attack. So we can definitely do some nice damage to our opponent as well. So that's why I decided to go with um, Grimmsnarl and not its max version. Um, because I wanted the um, Max Duck and not his uh, um, G Max uh, G Max one. So I think with at this point, like we're getting pretty. Um, physical uh, in our like for our attack like Metagross can go special but it's mostly like with like a, it's mostly known for its attack since it has a 135 attack um, but it does have a 95 special attack so we can still do some special attack if we want um, but uh, it's definitely more known for it being uh, physical. So the next move, next Pokemon I picked up, uh, again, is more of a physical mod, so we're going to continue on that trend. But I wanted a mod that I could rely on getting up Trick Room. And with that, I felt to, he's this is, Pokemon is the best, in my opinion, to set up Trick Room. And that's Mimikyu. So because it's a ghost type, we can't be uh, faked out, which is one of the main ways people stop uh, Trick Room. Um, so if we just put a mental herb on uh, Mimikyu, we can pretty much guarantee Trick Room. Um, it does have a really high speed with it being like 90, I think it's 95 speed. So it's definitely not the best Trick Room uh, mod, but to me it's the most reliable Trick Room mod. Um, so I uh, decided to use him, and especially with like, his ability Disguise, which pretty much can lets him uh, live one hit without taking much damage. Uh, we are guaranteed to uh, set up Trick Room because they can't they can't uh, like max a Pokemon and just 
go straight for damage uh, since disguise won't allow it so that was my opinion my reason for Mimikyu and then Mimikyu makes it also so once it is in trick room it can do some damage with uh, a attack of nine uh, base 90 um, and it has some nice um, defensive uh, stats as well um, what I think his special defense is like 100 or so and then his defense is regular defense is 80 um, we are able to uh, take some we can still take some hits uh, I, I would I, I feel so um, and then like I said because it's uh, um, fairy ghost as well like we're neutral to three uh, three types like we can't get hit by ghost I mean not uh, ghost dragon we can't be hit by fighting and we can't be hit by normal type attacks so um, that is always nice um, to have in my opinion so uh, the next one I picked up uh, is continuing on our trend of more of physical attackers but I really wanted uh, to try this mod and since it what came back to me in this round I was like I, I'm going to pick him up um, and that is Ursifu Rapid Strike. Um, so I've always wanted to try Ursifu. Um, in my opinion, I kind of like the water one a little bit better than the dark one, but uh, and that's why I picked uh, the Rapid Strike one. But the main reason I picked the Rapid Strike one is because uh, it was it gave uh, gave us the Gigantamax form since uh, they were separate. So whenever I bring Ursifu, I have to have um, uh, it in the G the G Max form. So, uh, but uh, I always also thought that was still nice since. Um, Max God, as far as I know, still guards against um, Ursifu. Um, like its ability doesn't work against the Max God. Um, so the Max version has the, his attack makes it so uh, it can it goes through uh, Max God. So I thought that was nice to have, anyways. So. Uh, I picked up a Sufu um, Gigantamax and with it one move always guaranteed crits uh, even Pokemon that uh, not super that it's not super effective to still gonna take a decent amount of damage um, through due, due, due to the crits so uh, uh, that's why we picked up uh, Ursifu. Now the next mod I picked up, um, I have used, um, and I actually used it in one of my most recent draft leagues. Um, but I decided to pick it up for a couple reasons. One, I really needed something to help with um, the special attacking output um, that I did not have at this point and this one can st still do physical and it's probably more technically physical than special due to its signature move is physical but it's still really it still can be special um, and it also gets moves that I've never been able to use before due to um, they done being transfer moves. So the next Pokemon I picked up was Savali. So Savali helps us in a couple things. Like I said, 
uh, helps us with our special attack because it does have a uh, base attack of 95 across the board. Um, so like I said, so it can be physical and its signature moves physical, but um, I figured it was still nice to um, get. It helps us with our special uh, attack side and it gives us some nice support moves like Icy Wind and because we allow transfer move it gives us uh, um, Tailwind and then we can get moves like uh, and then it, it, it can use moves like Parting Shot as well to help us lower our opponent's um, attack and special attack so that was um, my thought on Savali so it's not the best special attacker, but it was still a mod I thought uh, to uh, help with a special attack that we did not have. So the next Pokemon I picked up actually goes back to a physical aspect. And it's a Pokemon I've actually drafted before, but never gave it a chance. I, when I drafted it, I thought it learned um, a couple moves that I found that after I drafted it. It doesn't, um, due to it being a transfer moves, but we are a lot of transfer moves, so now he will be able to use the moves. Um, but I think it's too, I'm able to use uh, it more effectively than I would have been able to before anyways as when I did draft it before it was in the first draft league I ever was in and I didn't really uh, know exactly how to use it so next mod I picked up was Sock so Sock is nice because it has uh, mood, it has like an inner focus so we don't have to worry about being uh, faked out and we don't have to be worrying about uh, uh, intimidate so that I always thought was uh, I thought was nice um, to have and then it, it has a great support moves uh, for our team like coaching and helping hand and things like that but it also has a great attack stat at 125 I believe Yes, 125, so it can do some good damage as well. Um, so, and then it has ability as well as in sturdy, so we are able to uh, do some, uh, if we're worried that the opponent's going to take us out in one hit, we can put sturdy on instead and we can guarantee to live one hit. So that's uh, also uh, nice to have as well. So, in saying that, at this point, I really needed to start um, fixing my special side. As at this moment, the only Pokemon I have that is somewhat special attacking is Metagross and I didn't want to rely on Metagross as my special attacker and then like I said Savali can but uh, I Savali to me is more of a support mon than an attacker so I didn't want to rely on Savali as well so this Pokemon I picked up can actually be both physical and special as well as it the both stats are at 91 but when I think of this Pokemon I think of it more as a special attacker than than a physical attacker and that's Explow. Um so Explow gives us uh, in my opinion a nice range of special attacks um, it's normal, so we don't have to worry about um, any super effective moves hitting us except for fighting. 
so uh, that's the only one we really have to worry about um, we don't and then we're neutral I mean not neutral what immune to ghost types which is good but uh, we have like we have scrappy so we can actually hit ghost type moves with our special attack I mean our normal attacks which in most cases you wouldn't be able to so I thought that was uh, also a nice um, nice bonus to have um, explode on our team then the following Pokemon I picked up uh, again helps us with this special attacker and it's probably the main special attacker on our team um, it's not the Pokemon I wanted to pick up as uh, I wanted a grass type at this point um, but I also wanted a fire type and there was no good special attacking fire types I could pick up outside of the tier that my grass type was going to be in so instead of picking up the grass type I wanted I picked up Moltres. So Moltres gives us a fire type that I wanted as well and it also gives us a, a nice special attacker that I didn't really have at this point. Um, and in a max format having a flying type in my opinion is probably one of the best you can do because in my opinion max airstream is probably the best uh, max moves there is as it helps it does uh, it raises all your Pokemon speed by one and it being a stab is always nice um, so I figured Moltres would be nice it does give us a, a four times weakness to rock but it has enough bulk that we should be able to live at least one um, rock type move um, or at least uh, if we put a berry on it we should be able to live like any rock type move could be wrong I haven't, not, I haven't done any calcs or anything like that but that my, was my thinking so that was um, what I why I picked Moltres the next Pokemon I picked um, I decided at this point that there was really no grass types I wanted um, that I felt anyways could help my team out so the next Pokemon I picked up was Galvantula so Galvantula gives us the fastest mod on our team at this moment and the fastest mod on our team as in total because um, the last mod we have is not faster than Galvantula um, with a base speed of 108 which isn't the fastest mod out there there's a lot of mods faster than us but um, I felt uh, Galvantula was a nice option for our team and like I said I've never used it before um, but uh, it also helps us with the special attack with an attack of 90 I think it's special attacks 95 as well so um, it gives us that option for the special attack plus it has the ability I know so we don't have to worry about our opponent um, uh, using the berries if they use a berry or it also has um, compound eyes so it helps us with our accuracy so like a move that's usually uh, has less accuracy um, we have a better chance of hitting with that so like uh, let's say they have thunder if like we put thunder on our Pokemon I think it gives us uh, like I don't know the calcs totally but 
like thunder's like regularly seven percent seventy percent I think it get, puts it up to like eighty five maybe ninety percent so it gives us a nice little uh, um, uh, accuracy boost if we want to do that way which I thought was extreme would be extremely good um, so I picked up Galvantula. Um, it's not the bulkiest mon in the world, so it's not going to be really living any hits. Um, but we can. There's ways of working around that as well. So that was my pick uh, with Galvan why I picked Galvantula. Now the final Pokemon I picked. Um, I knew I'd get a mon later on in the uh, draft for this ability since it was transfer so a lot of mons you didn't usually um, get this move uh, got it and I picked up Squirtle so Squirtle gives us um, a couple different things. It gives us a fake out, another fake out user. Um, it gives us uh, EV light user, so we can look, do we can uh, uh, use that to uh, um, advantage. Um, defense, his defense aren't too too bad. Like sixty, I think there was. His defense is like 65 on both. Um, not the greatest HP. I think his HP is only like 45 or so. Um, but it's around there anyways. Um, but I thought it was still nice. But the main reason why I picked him up was I wanted a follow me user. Um, and I felt that Squirtle was a great option for that. So, uh, I went with Squirtle. And that finished off my draft. Um, I really like how my team turn, uh, came out. I hopefully I can uh, do well with the team. Uh, and I think I got a little bit of everything. I am a little worried with the special attacking aspect still, as I definitely know I'm more physically, um, a more physical attacker. Because um, even my special attackers, a few of them are either more physical or about the same. So, uh, we're just going to have to see uh, if we can work around that. Um, if need be, there is always trades, but uh, I do believe the team that I have, that um, it's still a really good team. And uh, it checks a lot of the boxes that I really wanted to try to do. Um, it's still a little bit, in my opinion, uh, not the best trick room way, like team, I'm sure, but we do have that option and it was uh, something I really wanted to try. So we got that. And with uh, speeds from 108 to 35, I believe we got in that um, range of if we uh, want to go trick when we can, if we don't, we don't have to. And also makes our opponent know that if um, that uh, he can't just bring like super quiet, super super fast um, mons to outspeed us because we still have that option and he can't bring like really slow mons to 
um, put trick room on us and take it, beat us that way, which I feel like happens to me a lot since I don't usually draft uh, Pokemon that I'm trick room on. So we will just have to see how this goes. But I, like I said, I think we have a good team here. Um, this league does have really strong um, people in it, so I'm just hoping we can have a uh, give them a good showing for us. But thank you again for watching. If you have any comments, just put that down below. Uh, I try to reply to all comments that uh, get put down and uh, um, if you like it hit the like subscribe if you're not already subscribed and uh, we will see you in when week one starts um, week one doesn't start for a little bit uh, I think it's like the 15th of August so it's still a little ways away but uh, it gives us uh, some time to uh, prep for a battle. You guys have a great day.